Alright guys, Ivan here, and I was wondering, what are the chances of Dexter Jackson actually winning the 2019 Mr. Olympia? The current champion is of course Sean Roden, so he would need to battle him for that top spot. Not necessarily though, maybe Sean will be out of that top 2 or top 3, who knows? It depends on how good he comes. But you know what they say, you're only as good as your last show, so we need to judge this competition like it was last year. Or the last time Sean competed, he looked better than any other bodybuilder in the world right now. And hey, he's the title holder, he needs to lose that title if somebody else wants to win it. We cannot be sure if Sean is going to battle it for the first or second spot, but let's imagine that he does. So, first thing I want to say, Dexter. When he is on, and I'm not saying just conditioned, but on in every sense of that word, meaning complete, you know, having full legs, being overall full and big, having complete body, so not having an asymmetry with his arms like he sometimes has, basically very conditioned physique, full, and without lacking any body parts. So Dexter, when he is on, he is very, very hard to beat. You guys know his nickname is The Blade, which means he is so conditioned that he is so sharp. He is sharp as a blade, and that's his game, that's his game, he's playing it on conditioning. And in 2008, Jay Cutler tried to play his game, he didn't go for size, which is something Jay was known for, he tried to go for conditioning. He tried to play Daxter's game. And of course, he failed, nobody beats Daxter in conditioning game, pretty much nobody. If Jay came fuller and bigger, he would probably beat him, but like that, no, no. And yeah, I'm not gonna say that Dexter that is on can beat Ronnie Coleman, of course he cannot. He cannot even beat Jay Cutler that is on. The very same thing goes with Phil Heath. When Phil Heath is on, he is pretty much unbeatable. The only person that can probably beat Phil is Ronnie. Maybe, but that's even questionable. If Ronnie and Phil were both on, it would be debatable, but let's say Ronnie is better. Anyways, Sean, that is 100% on, versus Dexter that is 100% on, I would bet on Dexter any day of the week. I just love his physique, it's, it's really beautiful physique. It's kind of like, in a sense, kind of like Lee Haney, because there isn't a, a single super impressive dominant body part. If you compare Lee Haney to, for example, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold's chest and Arnold's biceps were super crazy impressive. But on Lee Haney, there is nothing really super impressive, but everything is there. Arnold's legs were very small, the same thing was with his triceps and shoulders and probably a few more muscles, but that wasn't the thing with Lee Haney, he had every single muscle. And the same thing is with Dexter. Dexter's arms, really good arms. Dexter's chest, on point. Dexter's back, not a weakness by any means. Dexter's quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, forearms abs as well, everything is on point, everything is there, so he's very very complete, nothing too special, nothing too crazy on him, but very complete, and that's the same thing pretty much with Sean, Sean is also kind of complete, he doesn't lack anything too much, like Rolly does for example with his lower back, but Sean's lower back is inferior to Dexter's, Sean's arms are inferior to Dexter's, Dexter has everything a little bit better if you ask me. Maybe he is not even bigger, but everything is there, and the conditioning, when he is conditioned, he is conditioned. And that's why they call him Blade. So if both of these guys came with their best packages, I think Daxter would win. And uh, yeah, there is one more thing that should be taken into consideration, but maybe it shouldn't. Daxter is old, <laughs> that's the thing. And whenever people said he is too old, no way he's gonna come better, he surprises us. He did that in 2015, and he almost beat Phil Heath. He, not really almost, but he was second place. And right now, there will probably be no Phil Heath. And Dexter did improve his legs. In his guest posing, you saw his legs look much more massive. And he's now training with Charles Glass. And he said in an interview that Charles is really focused on bringing up Dexter's legs on bringing up that fullness, or maintaining the fullness. And that he knows his business, that Charles is doing great job with Dexter right now. So we can expect Dexter to come bigger, fuller, more complete. 
Yeah, he's 49, soon to be 50, but, you know, Sean is 44, so that's not too much, it's like 5 years difference. And I made a mistake a couple of times, and many people did, signing Dexter off, because of his age. And that's the mistake I will not repeat, never again. I just must somehow forget about his age, because, you know, his nickname is Blade, and uh, Blade is also a famous vampire from the movie. So maybe that's why his nickname is Blade, maybe because he's a vampire. Maybe that's why he doesn't age. But seriously, the difference between 1998, for example, Dexter Jackson, and 2008 Dexter Jackson, he does not look any older. The same thing is with 2018 Dexter. <laughs> he's almost the same. I mean, maybe his face got a little bit older, a little bit older, but his body still looks like he's 30 or 25 or something. He does not age. He simply does not age. Years go by and he remains the same. Anyways, whatever his secret is, I must say that if he won 2019 Mr. Olympia, that would make a hell of a story. That would kind of prove it to the world that anything is possible. If a 50-year-old can win the Mr. Olympia against younger guys, much younger guys who are at their prime, at their late 30s and early 40s, if he really does that, that would be insane, that would be crazy, that would be incredible. He won it 11 years ago, and if he repeats this year, I would really love to see that, that would be amazing, that would be a hell of a story, and uh, I think it's fairly possible, I think the door is wide open, Dexter knows that very, very well, and if he's on, if he comes very sharp and very full, he has a fighting chance, he has a pretty good chance to take the throne because he's very complete. I said that the biggest threat to Sean is Brandon Curry, but if Dexter brings up his legs, he's even more of a threat. And if he doesn't show any signs of aging. So we'll see what happens this year, but I think Dexter is a real threat to the throne. The chances of him actually winning the title are pretty decent, I must say. Not very super likely, but I wouldn't be super surprised if it happened. I would be amazed, I would be blown away, but I wouldn't be super surprised because he surprised me, he surprised us all many, many times before. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens at 2019 Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think are Dexter's chances, tell me in the comment section below. And do you think, does he really have a chance to win the throne again, 11 years after he won it for the first time and the only time? Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.